Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, in this video, we're going to be making a third person camera uh, that also has collision, so then uh, you don't see through walls. Uh, we'll see what that means uh, once we make it. So, here, let's, um, let's add a component. Um, we're going to call it camera and also uh, make like make all this stuff like let's just, just add a character this is I just use capsules because they I don't know they're good uh, and then just take the camera and then in the camera you add a component and we're going to call it cam script you can call it whatever you want as a list uh, and now so after you open it up, uh, I'm going to just clear this out here, and then um, now we need uh, our first variable, we're going to have a transform called target, and this is going to be like the, the thing we're going to rotate around, which is going to be our player, and then we're going to need a, uh, a vector 2, that's going to be our mouse input, and make sure the target one is public. So then we can set it uh, in the inspector. So here we're going to set mouse input equal to new vector two. And then in the vector two, we're going to do input dot get axis, and we're going to get the our mouse x and mouse y. So I'm just going to duplicate it over, place that with the y. So now we're going to make uh, the camera uh, rotate around the uh, target. So here we're going to do transform.position set equal target.position minus quaternion.euler. And this is where we're going to where we're going to put our uh, rotation. And actually here in the in the y we're going to have a minus since they the looking up and down is like reversed. So um, we're going to do mouse input and then uh, in the x we're going to do dot y and then in the in the y we're going to do dot x because in rotation it's like, like this. Uh, but we can't, we have to multiply that by, um, we're going to do a new vector 3 and then here we're going to do 0, 0 and then negative uh, let's say three. This is how far away our the the camera is going to be from our player. So let's let's make a variable up here where we can set it. Public float uh, distance. So here and the distance we're going to set it distance. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have it the the camera since. When we're going to set the position, the, all this is going to do is going to set um, the, the position only. But the thing is, we also need the, the camera rotation to face the actual player. So we're going to do transform dot look at, and we're going to look at the player. So trans, or tar, target, target dot position, all right? And make sure to do this after this because we need to rotate and then look at it and because if, if you did this first it will rotate to, uh, to look at it and then and then it'll move the camera so now it's going to look in a different direction um, so we need it after so after it loads Okay, so here we're gonna, well, we have it here, and now we're gonna put the capsule inside, and let's set the distance to like three, or four, or actually, wait, I did a, I did a thing that is wrong. Okay, so instead of minus, we're gonna have this as a plus, or like don't, don't subtract the distance for, because we have a subtraction right here, so we don't need to make that because it will be in front. Um, so now. If we look at here, we're going to go inside, and now we can see that we can, oh, actually, huh. or active, wait, shoot, huh,
setting resolution. Oh wait, 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 wait. No, never mind, never mind. All right, so um, don't set it equal. Uh, plus equal. We have to plus equal mouse input. Um, yeah, don't do what I. Yeah, that means that'll that'll just keep it in place. So now we can rotate around. And actually, I should I should make the cursor. Uh, up block state equals cursor dot cursor dot visibility equals false. So now. And uh, now we don't have to see the, the mouse going all over the place when we're trying to look. All right, so now we can look around the player. And now uh, when I mean, uh, now we're going to do collision. And what I mean by collision is that when you look down like this, you can, you can see through this, uh, the plane. And like, let's like put some, let's say, boxes and put a square uh, or not a square a box and then we're gonna put it here we're gonna put it like that I guess and then put it over there, over there. Um, now if we like look around we're gonna get covered by by it or we can see through the square and that's not what we want um, so what we do is we're going to have a ray cast going uh, from the player to the camera and we're going to anything that it hits is any place that it hits is where the camera is going to be uh, so let's, let's try to do that here so if so here we're going to set we're going to set distance so let's set another float called D, and we're going to say set it to distance, all right? And then here, instead of setting distance, setting it to distance, we're going to set it to D, our, our float here. So if um, if it, we're going to make a raycast here. If this from target dot position, and then we're going to have a we're going to have the direction from the player to us. So to get that, we need to get the to minus the from. So we're going to myself. So we're going to do transform that position minus target that position. Um, so then, and then we have to also have a, another uh, uh, variable. We're going to do raycast hit, and we're going to call it hit. And over here, we're going to do out. Hit, and then um, here we're going to put our, our distance. Uh, so now if we hit something, and actually, yeah, if we hit something, uh, we're going to set D, and we're going to set that to rate, to hit dot distance. So now that means that when it hits something, So I mean I did it differently than how I explained it. So what we're what we're doing is that we're getting like let's say our camera is like over here, and then we're gonna get a raycast from this, and then it and then it turns out that it hits this. So now we're we're getting the distance between this, and we're gonna set the distance uh, that we made here, which is the distance between how how far away is it, and we're gonna set that distance to here because that's that's what we hit and that's how long the raycast was so that's what we did here uh, so let's see if it works a bit a break like last time yeah there we go so now we have it like that and then also make sure that your camera is uh, has the oh wait it does actually yeah but, um, <clears throat> so in when when you're look uh, when you're looking down like this, uh, you can see through the floor. Um, so I think how you fix that is 
in here we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do a distance that's like all right so here instead of setting it to the distance we're gonna set it to a little bit closer than the distance so then so if it hits like that then it'll go instead of to that point exactly it'll go slightly closer to the player than what it hit so let's do that so here we're going to just do instead of distance we're going to do distance minus 0 0.1 uh, so then let's see how that works so here yeah it doesn't it. Yeah, I don't know how to fix that actually. Maybe I'll, I'll figure it out, maybe. Um, but yeah, this is our third person camera. Uh, with, except actually, there's a problem. When you look up like this and then you go down, it, it goes around. So we're gonna change it to then the, uh, so how we do it is we go in here and then we're gonna set uh, this. So actually we're gonna do mouse input set equal to new vector two. And then here we're just gonna set it equal to mouse input dot x because we don't wanna change the x. We only wanna change the, the y. So in here we're gonna set it to mathf dot uh, clamp, and here we're gonna do mouse input dot y, and then this is gonna be negative 80 to 80 about. Uh, you can do like 90. That that's the highest you can do, I guess. Or if you do it higher, then it'll it'll still do the same problem. It's just yeah, I don't know why would you do it like that. Now we can't look more than 80. Um, so yeah, and you can see the camera. As you can see it's negative 80 uh, on the right there, and it's positive 80 up here. All right, so now we got our character working. Now we'll also make a. Uh, First person or third person camp, uh, controller. So I guess we'll do that. So here we're gonna add a rigid body, and uh, let's let's make the rotation like that. Or maybe yeah, let's, let's go in the script player script, whatever you want to call it. Once we got it opened up, uh, let's clear it out a little bit. Now here, uh, we'll have a public transform to actually have the camera position. Then, uh, so in when we're making when we're making our movement, instead of uh, in in our first person movement, we would usually move forward the the forward of the player character itself and then we would move left and right like that except in a third person game you don't move like that you move around the camera so what we need is we need the rotation of the camera and we need to move it on that except the problem is sometimes if we want to move the for, uh, forward direction if we rotate since if since we're rotating it around the player, it might be overhead like this, where it looks down. And if we go off of the forward, it'll start to go down, which is not what we want. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, make this rotation zero. And we're just going to use the Y rotation, so left like this way. Uh, so let's try that here. And now, here we're gonna get we're gonna get component rigid body. We get our rigid body, and then we're gonna set the velocity equal to 
Um, let's actually make a, a vector 3 up here of our direction. So we'll call it here. We're going to have our inputs here. Input dot get axis. And we're going to do vertical, which is our W and S keys. And we're going to multiply that by cam dot forward. Or actually, we're going to have it a new vector 3. Vector 3. And then here, we're going to have new forward dot x. And then here, we're going to have 0 because we don't want to use the Y, since we're not going to move up or down. And then here we're going to have Z, which is our forward, and we're going to add that. So let's just copy this, and then copy it, and then here, instead of forward, we're going to do right, and we're going to do right here as well. And then here, instead of vertical, we're going to do horizontal. Uh, so make sure that this is spelled exactly like this and has like a capital letter in the front and everything else lowercase. Uh, now we're going to set it to direction, or velocity to the direction that we're moving like that. So we'll see if it works. Now if we go into our capsule, we have a, uh, a variable we need to fill in, so we need we'll put this here. And now, we'll move in the direction of our camera. It is pretty slow, because I didn't, it is going by one. So let's have a public float with our speed. Just, we're gonna put speed right here. Or actually, let's do direction times speed. Go. And then here we're going to set speed uh, to 5, that's like uh, 5, that's my speed, usually works. So, yep, that's, that's the speed, except there is also a problem with this, since um, it, it's fine right now because the, the character is a capsule which looks the same in any direction. But let's, okay, so in, in the capsule, let's add, let's add a box in front. We'll just, let's just have like a box, like let's say that he's carrying a box in front of him. And that's in front of him. So now if we move around, he's going to, he's going to keep the box in front of him. For the this direction, even if I turn this direction and start moving this way, but most uh, 3D games would actually have it so um, it would move the it would move the character's rotation towards where it's moving. So let's do that instead. So instead of uh, setting the velocity. We're going to set the velocity to forward all the time. Anytime we're pressing, anytime we're pressing uh, W, S, A, A, or D. And instead of uh, going in the directions, we're going to set the direction to our uh, the rotation. So, so instead of doing that, we're going to have a... We're going to get our transform dot, dot rotation. We're actually, yeah, we're going to, no, we're going to have a transform dot forward, and we're going to set this to direction. And then here we're going to do if, we're going to get this input vertical here is, uh, not equal to zero, and, or actually, if yeah, if it's not equal to zero, or if this isn't equal to zero, then we'll be able to move forward or move at all here. 
and then we're going to have it here, or actually we need to have it not equal to zero. And then now the forward, when we're setting the forward, that means that we're rotating this forward direction to whatever we have here, which we have the direction that we put right here. So now let's go here. Let's go in the Now let's see how it works. As you can see, the the character is facing the direction that we are going to, except there is another problem where every time we stop moving, it'll face, it'll go forward. So if we stop moving, it'll keep going that way. So instead of setting the rotation all the time, we're going to set it we're actually going to do this here. We're going to actually add this into this, uh, into the uh, if statement we have here, where we have to check if the the inputs are being are, are uh, not zero, then we'll actually do it. So now, anytime we stop moving, it won't set the direction until we make another input to move. Now here, if we move around, it doesn't turn back to the other way. So there we go. We got our third person character. We got our movement. And I mean here, it, since we have a box, it'll it'll do this because it, the ray cast is colliding with the box, and then and then it's that that close. But we can make we can change that by just setting this to ignore raycast. <clears throat> and then now we can face him like this, and then it doesn't matter. Uh, so yeah, that's the this is our third person camera. Uh, or not third person camera, but third person character uh, with with the camera collision and everything. Uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope this this was helpful to some people. Um, and yeah, bye.